Today we remember Barnabas the Apostle. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. We are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord is gracious. His steadfast love is everlasting. O be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting. And his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. The Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting. O Christ, the sheepfold, May we enter your gates with praise and go from your courts to serve you in the poor, the lost and the wandering this day and all our days. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. I will sing of faithfulness and justice. To you, O Lord, will I sing. Let me be wise in the way that is perfect. When will you come to me? I will walk with purity of heart within the walls of my house. I will not set before my eyes a counsel that is evil. I abhor the deeds of unfaithfulness. They shall not cling to me. A crooked heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person, one who slanders a neighbour in secret. I will quickly put to silence haughty eyes and an arrogant heart. I will not endure. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me one who walks in the way that is pure, shall be my servant. There shall not dwell in my house one that practices deceit, one who utters falsehood, shall not continue in my sight. Morning by morning will I put to silence all the wicked in the land, to cut off from the city of the Lord all those who practice evil. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Keep us, Lord, in purity of heart and faithfulness to your commands, that your servants may walk before you in the way that is perfect, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you peoples. 
for great is his steadfast love towards us. And the faithfulness of the Lord endures for ever. Alleluia. Alleluia. Gracious God, we praise you for your faithfulness and pray that every nation may find your blessing in the face of Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Thus says the Lord, Do not let the wise boast in their wisdom. Do not let the mighty boast in their might. Do not let the wealthy boast in their wealth. But let those who boast boast in this, that they understand and know me, that I am the Lord. I act with steadfast love, justice and righteousness in the earth, for in these things I delight, says the Lord. The Lord has anointed me and sent me to bring good news to the oppressed. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour, to comfort all who mourn, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. For as the earth puts forth her blossom, and as seeds in the garden spring up, so shall the Lord God make righteousness and praise blossom before all the nations. You shall be called priests of the Lord. They shall speak of you as ministers of our God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord has anointed me, and sent me to bring good news to the oppressed. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and the great grace that was on them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. There was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Joseph, to whom the apostles gave the name Barnabas which means son of encouragement. He sold a field that belonged to him, then brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation, be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go out and bear fruit, the fruit that shall last. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear. 
holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go out and bear fruit, the fruit that shall last. Let us pray. We pray for the day and its tasks. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world and its needs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church and her life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the Queen, members of Parliament, and the armed forces. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peace and justice in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who work for reconciliation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all whose lives are devastated by war and civil strife. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for prisoners, refugees and homeless people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bountiful God, giver of all gifts, who poured your spirit upon your servant Barnabas and gave him grace to encourage others, help us by his example to be generous in our judgments and unselfish in our service. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.